Controversy over President Donald Trump's vulgar remarks about immigrants only grew today after Trump denied making them. But two senators have confirmed that he did, including one from Illinois. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has the latest. That is what Reverend King preached all of his life, love. Following a White House ceremony honoring Martin Luther King's birthday, Mr. President, are you a racist? President Trump didn't address the furor over his remarks about immigrants. But in a tweet earlier today, he claimed, never said anything derogatory about Haitians, other than Haiti is obviously a very poor and troubled country. Never said, take them out, made up by Dems. I have a wonderful relationship with Haitians. Probably should record future meetings. Unfortunately, no trust. But Democratic Senator Dick Durbin insists he heard it all with his own ears. Haitians, he said, we don't need more Haitians. Then, says Durbin, Trump disparaged African immigrants. That's when he used those sickening, heartbreaking remarks, saying those will send us the people that they don't want. It was vile, it was hateful, it was racist. Words that particularly stung State Senator Kwame Rahu. Was this personally insulting to you as, as a child of Haitian immigrants? It is. It's insulting to me. It's insulting to me as somebody who was raised in Chicago, a city that was first settled upon by a Haitian man. It's insulting to me and it should be insulting to all Chicagoans. Insulting as well to DACA students who could be deported without a congressional deal. He's offending pretty much every immigrant that's coming from other countries into the United States. Among the seven lawmakers in that meeting, Senator Durbin was the only Democrat present. Durbin said he hoped Republicans would confirm that Trump made the remarks. So far, only one has. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Robin Erica, Durbin also said after the president's objections, he didn't think there would be another attempt made at a bipartisan deal on DACA. And two, three days ago, they were trumpeting the bipartisan deal. They're all meeting with President Trump, and look what happened. And that was the of point days. of the meeting, to present uh, the details of that deal to the president. All right, Derek, thanks.